Hi everyone, this is Karen from the Historical Society of Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. In this video, we're going to be talking about one of the historic synagogues in Montgomery County. Located in Elkins Park on Old York Road is the Beth Shalom Synagogue. The congregation was originally founded in 1919 and its first building was located on Broad Street in Philadelphia. Over the next few decades, there was more of a push to move synagogues into the suburban community to reach more of the younger folks who were moving their families out of Philadelphia into the nearby suburbs of Montgomery County. Rabbi Mortimer J. Cohen was one of the people in the congregation encouraging the move from Broad Street to Elkins Park. The Elkins Park property where the current synagogue is was purchased in 1949. A local sculptor by the name of Boris Bly, uh, who was also the dean of the Tyler School of Arts, was the one who suggested that Rabbi Cohen reach out to famed architect Frank Lloyd Wright in November 1953. At the time of designing the synagogue, Wright was in his 80s. It's important to note that as far as we've been able to figure out, this synagogue is the only synagogue that was designed by Frank Lloyd Wright. And his partnership in the design with Rabbi Cohen is also an uncommon occurrence you see when you compare it with some of the other buildings he designed. Wright is also known to have said, quote, I said I would design an American synagogue for Jews in America, but I would not design a Jewish synagogue. While Wright was the architect, he actually worked with Cohen to, quote, take the lead in explaining and interpreting Jewish practices and beliefs, which would then be incorporated in the synagogue design and architecture. The official groundbreaking for this synagogue occurred on November 14, 1954. However, there were a lot of delays in fundraising and thus building the actual structure. Originally, the construction was supposed to start in the summer of 1956, but due to these fundraising delays, they didn't actually start building the synagogue until early 1957. The building was officially completed in September 20th, 1959. The overall pyramid type shape of this synagogue was meant to represent a traveling Mount Sinai. In turn, this is said to have become a metaphor for the hands of God holding the people of Israel. There's also a fountain that is located just outside of the synagogue, and it is a symbolic representation of Laver, a place where ancient practitioners of Judaism washed before entering sacred spaces or performing sacred rituals. The entrance of the synagogue is almost like a canopy design. And according to Rabbi Cohen, when he was talking with uh, Wright, he said, quote, my thought is this, imagine your two hands together in prayer, then pivoting them on the thumb and first index fingers, revolve them up until both hands are in one plane. This will give you the triangular effect of the present covering. And you can see his description of that Wright did use to incorporate in the overall design of the canopy in the synagogue. The way the building is designed, it orients the worshipers in the synagogue to essentially face eastwards towards Jerusalem. 
This is seen in a lot of historic synagogues throughout the United States. When building this synagogue, there were some people who questioned how sturdy uh, the design of the building could be, given its relative close proximity to the Willow Grove Naval Air Base. Their fear was uh, with fighter jets breaking the sound barrier from time to time, they weren't sure how the varying glass work and other architectural designs would be able to withstand such fast, low-flying planes. Thankfully, it appears that the building was designed incredibly well, and there has not been, as far as we know, any negative impacts uh, to the structure itself, aside from normal, everyday wear and tear that you see on every building. This synagogue was officially added to the National Register of Historic Places in 2007, and it still stands and holds services to this day. If you like these videos, please remember to subscribe to our YouTube pages so that you can be notified when a new video is released. The Historical Society of Montgomery County, Pennsylvania is a private nonprofit library and museum located in Norristown, Pennsylvania. We rely on the support of the community, members, volunteers, and viewers like you. If you would like to donate so that we can continue making these videos, you may do so by clicking the donations link in the description section below which will take you to our main website. Thank you so much for your support, and we look forward to seeing you in a future video.